Number 12, traffic shockwave. An abrupt slowdown in concentrated traffic can travel as a pulse, termed a shockwave, along the line of cars either downstream in the traffic direction or upstream, or it can be stationary. Figure 2.25 shows a uniformly spaced line of cars moving at speed v equals to 25 meters per second towards a uniformly spaced line of slow cars moving at speed vs equals to 5 meters per second. Assume that each faster car adds length L equals to 12 meters car length plus buffer zone to the line of slow cars when it joins the line and assume it slows abruptly at the last instant. Letter A, for what separation distance D between the faster cars does the shockwave remain stationary? If the separation is twice, twice that amount, what are the speed and direction of the shockwave? Ok, so let's start from letter A and let's make a draw to see what happens. In letter A we want that the, the shockwave remains stationary. So let's draw the red car over here. So this is the red car and this is the green car. Okay, so I'm drawing the red car and the green car. We know that this distance, let's just draw this as L, right? Let's forget about the buffer, uh, the buffer zone. Okay, so the, 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 the car is is this the, the red this red square over here is the car plus the buffer zone so it's easier to draw and this is the distance d so if we want the the shock wave remains stationary after a while the red car should be here and the green car should be here right remember that that's the car and the buffer zone so while the red car have to travel this distance over here, which is D plus L, the green car have to travel L, right? So we have to find D, the, this distance D over here, for that to happen. So the red car travels D plus L and the green car travels L. So at the same time, so the time it takes for the red car to travel D plus L is the same time as the green car to travel L. Okay, so let's write it down. So remember that V is equal to delta X over delta T. For the green car, we have that, let's see, VS is equal to L over T. The red car, which have speed V is equal to D plus L over T. T is the same for both cases, right? So we can isolate T. So T is equal to L over Vs and T is equal to D plus L over Vs. So we have that L over, that's not Vs, that's just V. This does just V. So L over Vs is equal to D plus L over V. We know the value of L, which is 12 meters. We know the value of Vs, which is 5. We know the, we know the value of V, which is 25. So we can find the value of D. So we just have to isolate it. So D is equal to V over Vs times L minus L and this is equal to 25 over 5 times 12 minus 12 and this is equal to 60 minus 12 which is equal to 48 meters so that's the answer of letter A 48 meters for letter B if the separation is twice that amount so we want the separation D to be equal to 96 meters. Now D is equal to 96 meters. What are the speed in the direction of the shock wave? Okay, so let's see what's happening now. We have to travel 96 meters. That's just the distance. However, 
let's make our draw over here so initially those were the positions so this is 96 meters however now when the, 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 the red car reaches this position over here the green car is already further away so let's say the red car is here and the green car is somewhere here right so we have to do that better no that's i think that's okay okay so now this time this is x okay and this in x is not l anymore okay so l is uh, x is not l anymore it's l plus something that we don't know however what we do know is that we can calculate the time it takes for the green car to do this movement so again t is equal to x over vs and again the time for the red car is equal to t which is equal to d plus x x over v and again we have that x over vs is equal to d plus x over v and in, uh, this time the only thing that we don't have is x so we have to solve this equation for x so how we do that let's think a little bit so we can send this term to the other side so it would be x over v equals to d over v so x which multiplies 1 over vs minus 1 over v is equal to d over v so x is equal to d over v multiplied by 1 over 1 over vs minus 1 over v so d now is 96 v is equal to 25 and then we have over here 1 over 5 minus 1 over 25 and this is equal to 96 over 25 which multiplies 1 over 25 over 125 minus 5 so this is equal to 96 over 25 which multiplies 125 over 20 and this should gives us 24 let's just see if this is the correct value so 96 times 125 divided by 20 divided by 25 and this is this gives us 24 meters that's correct 24 meters so now we know that x is equal to 24 meters okay so now we can try to find the velocity of the the shock wave the speed of the shock wave because we have that x is equal to 24 meters we know the velocity the speed of the the green car so we can find t now so t is equal to 24 over 5 and this gives us 4.8 seconds okay so what happens now we know that the line moves with the green car so the line moves x in 4.8 seconds so you probably think that the answer is just we can calculate the, the, the velocity the speed of the string would be sorry it is not a good letter to use so the, 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 the velocity of the line the speed of the line would be equal to 24 over 4.8 so you probably think this is the correct answer however it is not because you sum the length of the red car to the line so we sh you should decrease l so in this case 
the velocity of the line is equal to x minus l over t. So this is equal to 24, l is 12, sorry, this is t. x minus 12 over t, which is 4.8. And this gives us 2.5 meters per second. So that's the answer of letter B. The speed of the line or the speed of the shock wave is equal to 2.5 meters per second. And we, from, from our draw over here, we can find the direction of the shock wave, which is downstream, right? Because the, the, the last part of the shock wave was here, and then it goes to this position over here. And that's the answer of the exercise.